Recently, I came across to this video from Alexei Chernov. He's a great guy, great animator, and it's gold when he's dropping a content like this. It covers a lot of specific things, but I'm interested in this particular effect. And I want to make it today uh, myself. He was kind enough to provide the texture, so I don't waste my time to make it happen. So let's jump into the spine. This is what I have. And it's a simple texture. It's inside a bone. We have another bone that is the rotating one. And then inside we have two textures. I have overlapped them as he did. So you can see the rays actually feel in between one another. So this is another ray. This makes sure that we have more rays that we had in the original texture. I tried several textures. Really, this one was the best one so far. Animations here, I have covered them in details, how to make them in the VFX course, which I will be releasing very soon in December. Make sure you are subscribed to be notified when the course is released. So let's build this one from scratch. I'm going to delete this one. We have a spine logo, which I stretched using meshes. And similarly, I stretched the glow. So let's leave this as is. Now I'm going to drag that texture, which will be um, race. Great. It's very nice designed. Let's put that into bone. I'm selecting the slot, clicking bone. It will create a bone in the center. Next, let's create another bone in the root and put that inside that bone. So this will be our scale bone. I need to make sure they are at the same position so I can turn on um, compensate mode and basically either drag this here or just select positions from it. Control C, copy it, bone transforms copied and then select this one. Make sure the global axis is selected and press past. Note that compensate are still enabled, otherwise um, everything would move. The bones, the rays. Now we should turn off the compensate and we have a bone and we have inside bone, which has a texture. This is helpful so we can scale the container bone and then rotate inside. Otherwise, if we scale inside bone and try to rotate it, we would have something like this. We don't need that. Now, before I align it to the symbol, I'm going to duplicate the slot here and rotate it so we have more rays. Um, we can maybe scale it down a little bit to have a little bit of variety of the rays. And now let's select container and put it here. Let's put it behind um, spine budge. And let's check the colors. I want some yellowish color. Let's leave this. Now let's scale this way. Note that I'm scaling parent bone and not the child bone. So child bone is for rotating. Parent is for scaling and setting perspective, setting the angle. Now let's reduce it and actually go and animate it. I want slow animation, so I'm going to set it here at zero, zero rotation. Change to local axis, set to somewhere 2000 and set it full cycle 360 now this already should work actually just let's change the blending mode to additive and this is basically it you can see how nice overlap it creates here with the glow if we turn off this glow we would just have a simple race behind so this glow really makes a difference thank you